Hi friends, myself Subrutu Mukherjee and you are viewing my channel Dr. Subrutu Mukherjee Distance Learning in Commerce. I would like to request my viewers to subscribe the channel and to click the bell icon so that you can get the notification. I have created this channel for students of commerce who cannot afford private tuition but want to have access to quality education. Please give your valuable comments and you can communicate with me through email which I have given in the description box. From the following information, show the sold ledger adjustment account and bought ledger adjustment account in the general ledger. On 1st January 2021, balance on bought ledger, debit balance is 5000 and credit balance is 48000. Balance on sold ledger, debit balance 70940 and credit balance is 1120. On 31st December 2021, purchases 2,70,000, purchase return 10,000, total sales 3,84,000, cash sales 20,000, sales return 5,000, cash received from customer 3,12,000, discount allowed 5,600, cash paid to suppliers 2,40,000, transfer from sales ledger to bought ledger 10,400, reserved for doubtful debts 4,580, cash paid to customers 920, Discount received 3,600. Bills receivable received 20,000. Bills payable issued 11,200. Bills receivable dishonored 3,000. Bought ledger debit balance 5,200 and sales ledger debit balance 91,600. Here I have presented the structure of the two ledgers that I am going to prepare. The one is the sold ledger adjustment account. The other name of sold ledger adjustment is the data ledger adjustment account and the bought ledger adjustment account or the creditor ledger adjustment account. So both this ledger I am preparing in general ledger as required as per the question. So the balance on 1st January 2021 it is given that on 1st January 2021 the balance of debit balance of bought ledger or the creditor ledger is 5000 so i am writing here to balance bd rupees 5000 and the credit balance is given as 48000 so on 1st january 2021 i am writing here on the credit side as buy balance bd 48000 and the data ledger balance uh, given on 1st january 2021 as 70,940. So, to balance PD 70,940 and the credit balance given on 1st January 2021 as buy balance BD 1120. Now, the transactions which are taken during the year, I am writing here on 31st December 2021. To general ledger adjustment account ledger adjustment account and on the credit side also I am writing on 31st December 2021 as by general ledger adjustment account Now, similarly, I am writing in capital ledger adjustment account also on 31st December 2021 to general ledger adjustment account and on the credit side, I am writing on 31st December 2021 by general ledger adjustment account so the first transaction given is the credit purchase 2 lakh 70 thousand so the journal entry is general ledger adjustment account debit to creditor ledger adjustment account or bought ledger adjustment account and the transaction has taken place for purchase or credit purchase so here i am writing 2 lakh 70 thousand I am again repeating the journal. The journal is 
general ledger adjustment account debit to what ledger adjustment account and the purpose is for purchase that is the credit purchase next is purchase return so similarly i am writing here on the debit side of capital ledger adjustment account as purchase return and the amount for purchase return is 10000 the next transaction is regarding the total sell figure is given as 384000 and out of the total sales cash sales is 20000 so what is the amount of credit sales the amount of credit sell is there for 364000 so the general entry is debtor ledger adjustment account debit to general ledger adjustment account and the purpose is credit sales and what is the amount of credit sales 384000 minus 20000 so this is 364000 next is sales return so the general entry is general ledger adjustment account debit to debtor ledger adjustment account and the purpose is for sales return and the amount is rupees 5000 next is cash received from customer so this i am going to write here that is the amount of cash received so cash received is 3 lakh 12000 so your general entry is general ledger adjustment account debit to debtor ledger adjustment account and the purpose is for cash received 3 lakh 12000 next transaction is discount allowed so below this i am writing discount allowed and the amount is 5600 your general entry is general ledger adjustment account debit to data ledger adjustment account next is cash paid to supplier so it is relating to the creditor ledger adjustment account so here i am writing cash paid is for 2 lakh 40000 the general entry is capital ledger adjustment account debit to general ledger adjustment account next transaction is transfer from sales ledger to bot ledger so in data ledger i am writing transfer to bot ledger and the amount is for 10400 and in capital ledger you need to write transfer from sales ledger 10400 next is reserve for doubtful date now reserve for doubtful date is not recorded in data ledger similarly this transaction that is reserve for doubtful date will not be recorded in data ledger adjustment account next is cash paid to customer so here you are paying a uh, cash to your customer so the general entry is data ledger adjustment account debit to general ledger adjustment account and here i am writing cash paid rupees 920 next is discount received so discount received is regarding your creditor so here i am writing in creditor ledger adjustment account discount received rupees 3600 next is bills receivable received so bills receivable here i am writing in data ledger adjustment account as general entry is actually by general ledger adjustment account debit to data ledger adjustment account and the purpose is for bills receivable received that is and the amount is 20000 next is bill payable issued so in creditor ledger on the debit side i am writing bills payable and the amount is 11200 next transaction is br dishonored that is bills receivable dishonored so in debtor ledger adjustment account i am writing br dishonored and the amount is 3000 So what is your general entry the general entry is data ledger adjustment account debit to general ledger adjustment account and the purpose is for 
bills receivable dishonored next is the bot ledger debit balance so bot ledger debit balance means in creditor ledger i am writing by balance cd this is 5200 and the sales ledger debit balance means you need to write here by balance cd 91600 so you will get a balance uh, on the debit side of creditor ledger adjustment account so i am writing here to balance cd and this will be the balancing figure so you just add up 48000 then 270000 and 5200 this will give you 323200 so i am writing on the debit side also 323200 and the balancing figure you will get 43000 so the first item is 5000 that is the opening balance and then you have a purchase return of 10,000, then cash paid 240,000, then transfer from sales ledger 10,400, then discount received 3,600, and bills payable uh, accepted 11,200. And so the balancing figure is 43,000. And in data ledger adjustment, on the total of the credit side, you will get 445,720. So I am writing the same amount on the debit side also 4,45,720 and the balancing figure that is by bal to balance CD is 6,860. So I expect that all the students have recorded the questions in your notebook as well as the solution and you try to follow the way I have adopted here to solve the problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching the lecture. 